Sometimes you just want to flip the order of a range in Google Sheets. Now, as you can see in the example on the left here, I have a list of names in no specific order, and I just want to flip them so that we have Zeph, Fancy Lee, Pre, Lucy, Davin, John, and Dutch in that order. So in reverse order from what we have here. So how do we do that with a formula in Google Sheets? Well, as always, there's a number of ways of handling this, but here's my preferred way. Let's dive in. Here we're going to rely on the sort function as you would with sorting an alphanumeric list in Google Sheets. But we're going to do something a little special here. So first I'm going to put in the equal sign to get started and then we'll put in sort. And here I'm going to grab the range that I want to sort. Now I'm not going to include the title here because I've already got that in the top. So I'm going to select this range here. And then my sort column is going to be a row function here. So I'm going to call row here at the moment. So row number of a specified cell. And this is weirdly going to generate a list of numbers for that row. So it'll be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for example. So if I just put that in and I'll just put in this first range, or we can actually put the entire range in here like this and then close it up and hit false and then hit enter. You can see now that we've flipped this entire range over here and everything is in the reverse order. So what about with columns? Columns, columns, get your columns here. Let's head over to columns here. So I have the same scenario here, but everything's been transposed across in columns. I've given away the secret to this formula already. We are actually going to use the transpose function a few times to resolve this. So across the top here, we have the name and role, which we'll copy and paste down here. And then we want this list from B1 to B2 in reverse order, starting with Zeth then Fancy Lee, then Pre, and so on. As you can see in this example down the bottom here, let's go ahead and solve this. So basically my solution for this is to transpose everything back into a set of rows, just like we did in the previous example here, carry out our sort function and transpose it back to its original run of columns. So let's just do that first stage. Let's just transpose everything down and then back again. So what we can do here is say so also equals and just have a look up the top here be easy for you to see equals sort then inside of sort we're going to transpose that's basically means moving it from running in one direction so up and down to left and right or vice versa and what do we want to transpose well this is the range that we want to transpose here and let me just tab out of that so you can see that this is going to transpose the range so it looks like this. Now we also want to transpose the columns. So what do we need to do next? So we've got everything transposed, but it's in the wrong order. So let's head back to our previous example. Here we used row and we got the row two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight here. Now for us with columns, we want to get the columns. So we need for our second argument, our sort column here, to be a list of columns, but that also needs to be transposed. So we need to say transpose again, and then we'll say column using the column function. And again, we can select this entire range or we can just use a selected column. Okay, so we've closed off that. We need to close off now our column. And now let's just make this ascending to false because we want it in reverse order, right? So we'll close it off and see what happens. Now we've got our list of names in reverse order, but now we need to transpose it back to run across the columns. So on the outside of the sort here, between the equals and the sort, we're going to type transpose. Put in a brace or parentheses and close the parentheses there and hit tab. And there you have it, reversing a range by rows and columns in Google Sheets. Now, if you don't have time to write your own formula or you don't think you can remember this, that's absolutely fine. I have an ever-expanding list of custom name functions that I've accumulated over the years that I've put in the name functions pack that you can grab in the link in the description below. And I've just added the reverse underscore row name function and the reverse underscore col name functions to the name functions pack. This will make flipping rows and columns incredibly easy for you now. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.